that the CV fear, the fear mongering by the deep state will go down in history as one of the biggest frauds to manipulate economies, suppress dissent and push mandated medicine is we must immunize everyone on the planet e.g. vaccinate everyone a deep state of a few set of people from the gates foundation to the zuckerbergs to hillary clinton uh congealed with the u.n and the deep state elites they're going to fear monger on coronavirus going to scare the hell out of people with the coronavirus to essentially say we need to do this for the quote-unquote common good that's what we're seeing go on. There's speculation, considerable speculation, that the virus is actually a manufactured bioweapon. Now, the State Department, among others, are pushing back against that narrative, simply calling it Chinese and Russian disinformation. This is a class of viruses that create flus. These ones create respiratory syndrome. The coronavirus in Wuhan was a different strain than the one that was in Iran versus the one that was in Italy. And there's reports that I've read, you know, I haven't, it's hard to verify a lot of this, that all of those different viruses go back to one common branch, which actually goes back to Fort Detrick, okay, in the United States and North Carolina. The U.S. deep state sent people over to Wuhan, and that's how it got uh, given in, in China. This is one theory. Whether it came in or not, my view is that if you believe in the concept of a set of people who don't care about the U.S. national interests or the Chinese national interests or the Indian national interests or Italian, they're more care for their own global interests. So what do you think is going to happen with this vaccine? Do you think they're going to roll it out? Do you think they're going to mandate it like uh, they just passed that law in Denmark? What they're saying is there's this boogeyman called the virus and you need the vaccine to help you stop that. Okay. Boogeyman, savior. Saviors, Bill Gates, Clinton Global Initiative, etc. Big Pharma. If you actually understood the immune system, it's laughable. The reality is the immune system has evolved over billions of years. I'm envisioning a time where we're gonna see the, sa the same thing. Coronavirus vaccine is free for everyone today, right? So that's, I think, a future- Well, it's gonna be even more, it's gonna even be more unfortunate than that. It'll be, oh, Gary, you know, your driver's license is coming up for renewal. Did you get all your vaccines? You can't oh, travel. Hey, you can't take the train or the bus. Hey, you can't go to the gym. You can't go here. This is where this is headed. A gym will say, well, we can't allow you in here, Gary. You know, we don't want to harm all of our other people. This entire thing is a master setup. It's chess move after chess move. And it's brought to you by Anthony Fauci. But now we're learning from the WikiLeaks drops that there that he is a huge supporter of Hillary Clinton. He is the face of pharma and vaccines, and he sees his opportunity to become, you know, the hero in all of this. The one big narrative that I've seen that's been presented is that, well, more people die from the flu. But there's this massive, massive, terrifying visual of people uh, being intubated and people eating bats and all this horrific Drama. visual propaganda. And now we're in a, we're, states are in lockdown mode. Uh, National Guard has been deployed. State guards have been deployed. Tents are being set up in cities and in Walmart parking lots and hospital parking lots. And you're, you're having this this the spirit of fear descend on this country and the world at large. But why don't we do the same thing for the flu? You have to understand pharma and media work very closely together. At that time was having a major problem. Prozac sales were going down. And I said, well, what did you do? He goes, well, first I went to Eli Lilly, changed their branding. Hey, you're no longer a drug company. You're, you, you helped the world. The second thing he goes, I had them do was spin out some nonprofit companies. One of the nonprofits, he said, was a company which said, we need to protect battered women. And that organization took out ads, which was full page ads, which would, if you saw it in a newspaper, would say, is your husband beating you? Do you know of someone, one of your friends whose um, husband is beating them? Make sure they're taking Prozac. So they create a narrative of we're trying to help the distressed and we are the drug company. We want to help all these darkies in Africa and India, etc. You know, we need GMOs. Gates is a savior. These guys are very clever at creating, spending millions of dollars to create the narratives of helping the quote unquote, the oppressed, and then they will inject them with their pharmaceutical drugs. They don't want us to believe in our grandmothers. They want to believe in this idiot, okay, Bill Gates, who by the way, never created DOS. He didn't write 50,000 lines of, and he was able to patent his stuff. So he gets to be a gazillionaire. You see what I'm saying? Or a Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. So these guys have built false histories 
of their eminence in the technology field. They leverage it to say they're going to be saviors. And that savior solution is not food, is not exercise activities. It's about injections into the bloodstream of people and to control them was personalized medicine, the right medicine for the right person at the right time. What I believe is happening right now before our very eyes is the invisible enemy, quote unquote, coronavirus is being exploited. And this is all very well planned to execute all the imperialist uh, agenda of the deep state. So you want to eliminate all borders. That's what essentially eliminating voter ID, you know, IDs is. These things like the cashless society, again, they're using the fact, oh my God, we don't want people passing viruses by touching cash, right? It's basically a pretext for essentially going to negative interest rates. They own our money. Nothing is tangible. Everything is tracked. Everything you use is monitored. It's basically the advance of top.